Hi Flosstube! If we're just meeting, my name is Daleen and this is my channel where I talk about cross stitch and a little bit of quilting and sewing and a teeny bit of crochet and my grandbabies and what I'm grateful for. So thanks a lot for stopping by. Ooh, this is good. Today is Friday, July 26th and I have iced coffee ready. Ooh, and I made lemon bars. They're in the refrigerator, so once you come over, then I'll cut them into really big fat squares, and I'm going to cover them with blueberries. I picked blueberries this morning. I had a friend, and we uh, picked blueberries this morning in my backyard, and uh, I thought, ooh, I could garnish the lemon bars with some really fat, juicy uh, blueberries, and it would be really good. So that's waiting for you, so come on over. So let's get started okay first of all I have some housekeeping got to do that um, I need to talk about the quilt behind me I always forget that okay it's not a quilt yet it is a quilt top and uh, it it is called um, I call it be nice and uh, each of the block okay so it was by uh, Pat Sloan she has a web a website she has a Facebook group thousands of people follow her Okay, so she gave the amount of fabric that you would use. It's a year-long project. Okay, so she gave the amounts of fabric that you would need, and medium, light, dark, and then you got to pick your colors. So um, I picked gray and yellow and a little bit of really, really dark gray and some swirly cream. Okay, so that center piece, the, the main, oops, the main block is really big and then you build the blocks around it so each month she would send a pattern and then you would use your fabric that you'd already picked out and then you would get to decide how the block would be created and then you shared with everybody online so it was really fun to see everybody's color choices and designs. some people made a Christmas one some people did all blues which was gorgeous some people did pinks and orange which I loved of course um, Anyway, um, and then this border is called a piano border. There you go. And um, it goes all the way around. And it is just the top. I have not quilted it yet. So um, once I got it out to show you, I, it made me happy. I really want to go back to putting it together and making it a quilt. And this one I, I think I'm going to use as my hand quilted piece for the winter time. So Anyway, I'll get it all sandwiched together, get everything ready, I'll thread a dozen or two dozen needles, and then um, I'll just keep it for some winter nights when it's uh, a little bit dark and chilly, and I'll just sit there all cozy and, and uh, stitch my Be Nice quilt. So anyway, I love it. I wanted to share it with you. Okay, uh, let's see. What else do I have? Housekeeping. Oh, oh, okay. I was on vacation for a week, and... You know those people that stand on the sides? They're usually moms, and they look really nice, and they have clean white Ked sneakers or Converse sneakers, and they are holding, their arms are full, and they're holding coats and hats and water bottles and backpacks and somehow a camera or a cell phone, and they're taking pictures, and they're waving to their children and their husbands or boyfriends. and um, they're not participating. They're the coat holders. That's me. That's what I've been my whole life. Well, I'm 57 years old and I got to go go-kart racing. It was so fun. Okay. Okay. I got to tell you about it. Okay. So we are standing in line. We, Mr. Wright had already paid. We're standing in line and this um, gentleman came up behind me. He's in line too. And he looks really nice and neatly pressed shorts and a nice polo shirt and all that. And then he said, are you in line? And I said, yes. And he said, you're going down. I said, really? How do you even know that? And he said, oh, I just have a feeling. Oh, it was so fun. Okay. All right. You get in the go-kart and they, you put on the um, this harness uh, seat belt. And then the, the man is telling you, right is gas, left is brake. He repeated it like four or five times. That's anyway okay and then they're off and so then you get to race around this track and you just get to put the gas to the down to the metal and you just get to fly around and my hair was flying and I was laughing and it was so much fun and I think I saw Mr. Wright once or twice but I was just trying to beat other people and it was so much fun I had a blast 
and one time when I was going around the corner, I was kind of going a little bit slow, and we were, I was going by all those people watching their kids and waving, and I saw this lady standing there smiling, so happy, and she was waving, and she had an armful of coats, and I just thought, I'm so sorry for you. This is so much fun! So I, I can't wait to go again. It was so much fun. I highly recommend it. Oh, and ski ball. We got to go play ski ball. And I did really good this time. I mean, good enough that I'm going to put it on my resume that I'm really a good ski ball player. And I, we won all these tickets or points or what have you. And I walked over to the place where you turn them in for pencil erasers and balloons or whatever you do. And I gave them to this little girl and she was, she was so happy. I said, I had a great time. Here's my points. Go spend them. And so she got to add them to her points and she was super happy. So it was good. Ooh, on that vacation. Okay. So we're walking down the street and I thought, Ooh, I could really use a coffee. I wonder if there's a coffee shop. And so we're looking at all the stores and I saw a sign that said coffee. So we're kind of walking that direction. And this one gentleman walked by and he said, um, are you looking for a coffee shop? And I said, yes, we are. And he said, well, might I suggest just around the corner, there's a used bookstore and has the best espresso in town. And I said, hey, thanks a lot. That was really great. Okay, so we got to go in there. And it was this little bitty shop. The guy was so nice. He's 72. He's still, he said he's just going to keep working. He loves his job. And so he was making the latte. He says, oh, look around, look around. And I, I don't, I don't very often go to, I know you all say you go to thrift shops. And I just, I don't, I don't do that. So I wanted to do it. And. There was all these books, and I got this really great cookbook, this vegan cookbook for $11. And I'm just so happy. So I got an excellent latte and a book. I was just, it was great. It was a really great, relaxing, fun vacation, and I had a great time. Highly recommend it, but put that on your list. Go, go, Carding. It's so much fun. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I got? Oh, I got some finished projects. We'll talk about that. Okay, so look what I made. I made some really cool pencil bags for my grandbabies. They're back to school, and we, Mr. Wright buys all their school supplies. We did for all the godchildren. Uh, we do for the, the grandbabies. And um, they don't really have many fun things on their list, so just this huge box gets shipped to wherever they live. But I wanted to make these little bags. I try to make a fun different bag each um, each year. So anyway, okay, so they're just, um, let's see. Okay, they're just candy bags with a zipper at the top and I lined them with some cool wild fabric. Okay, so I went to the store and I was I was looking in the candy aisle and somebody said, oh, are you, can't decide. I said, no, can't decide. I was looking for the size of the bag. Okay. So I got the pattern on, um, Missouri star quilt company. Just go on YouTube and type in Jenny Doan, Mr. Missouri star quilt company, uh, little candy zipper bags. I think that's what they're called. I'll, I'll link it below so that you can do it too. Okay. So you get the candy bag and then she shows you how to cut it out. And oh, okay, and then I had some of this uh, vinyl that you can fuse right onto fabric or candy bags. And um, I had it left over. Oh, I made I made a really cool banner for these little girls' um, doll playhouse outside. And so it was, I wanted it to be weatherproof. But anyway, okay, you can get this at Joann's and use your coupon, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, okay, so you fuse it on you know, use a pressing cloth. Don't get it on your iron. Okay. So, um, you, you fuse it onto the fabric and then you add the zipper. I just use whatever zippers I had. And then, um, you quilt the fabric, which is kind of funny. You know, I mean, once you put the fabric on, then I'm just kind of using this as fabric. So then you just, you just stitch. I just stitch straight lines all the way across, but you can do whatever you want. And, um, then you just, then you just, sew up the three sides. It's super easy. Okay. I just, I dumped all the candy in a Ziploc bag and gave it to Mr. Wright and said, take it to work. So, um, it doesn't matter if you like the candy or not. I was just looking for the colors of the bags. And, um, I now, now when I go in the store, I'm looking for the bags and see uh, bags of candy and seeing what they, what they have. So I'm going to make some more. It was really fun. It was really easy. It was just like one afternoon, super easy, super fun. I think her directions are like six or seven minutes. It's a breeze. You're going to love it. That, that was fun. So that was a, that was a good finish. Um, oh, you know what? Yesterday I was at Hobby Lobby 
So it would have been July 25th. And they had zippers on sale in their clearance section for 49 cents. So I bought six of them. But maybe you could look at your Hobby Lobby and see if they're on sale. And then makes for a really inexpensive bag and really fun and happy and, you know. Anyway. Um, okay. I have another finish. Look. It's, it's a book. Whenever my grandbabies come to visit, I end, when they leave, I print all the pictures. So this time was 128 pictures. And then I make these little books. I, I just, I look for a coupon or Shutterfly or Walgreens or, um, this one was, um, free prints photo book. And so then you just buy whatever. Look, there's a picture of me bike riding with my grandbaby. Yay! Yeah, we had lots of fun. Oh, look! Here's Cooper patting my chicken named Ginger. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I take... Oh, look! There's Hunter. We were on the front porch. He's taking a little nap. Oh, he's such a good baby. Okay, so anyway, I, I name all the books Ain't Life Grand. I put the date on them. I always just get one of the small ones. So... It ends up, this particular one was, I think, $6. And then, um, and you can put, they, they walk you right through it, super easy, take you about 15 minutes. Um, and I, I got to put a little picture on the back of them at the aquarium. So, it anyway, we it, they're great. They're really great. And I just like to slip them in my little bag, um, and I take them with me. So if I'm on my way somewhere, and we're sitting in the car, I can look through my books, I can show people, I can take it. So it's kind of better than standing there with your phone and showing people your pictures or, or you flipping through your phone. It's like a tangible thing you can touch and you can look at your grandbabies and you can be happy. Or maybe you could take pictures of all your chickens or your honeybees or I don't know. It's good. It's really good. Look, there's Mr. Wright. He's writing. He's, oh, they, they're climbing on. Oh, there you go. He's bike, bike riding. They were rope climbing. It's, it's just it's good okay so then you can just slip it in your bag and and you can have it on your coffee table and you can flip through it and so every time we get to go for a visit that's what I do and it's not all the pictures I think I think this one was like 24 pictures and um, so you got you have to wit you know <laughs> figure it out which one that you only want in here but I did print the rest of them so anyway it's a really good idea super easy to do uh, this one was free prints photo books and I think you just have to pay the postage. So it was um, $6.50 or something. And, you know, just look for those coupons. And it's it's a good thing. It'll make you so happy to, to look back over it. You could do this for the vacation, too. You know, once you go, you enjoy it. And then later on, you sit around in the winter and you look at those and you're happy again. So I love that. I love that. Okay. Those were my previous finishes. Yep. Okay. I have some works in progress. Oh, you know what I totally forgot? I totally forgot my old-fashioned previous finishes. Let me show you those. Let me show you those. I got a couple of them. Okay, so I was going through my box again, looking for old pictures or old pieces. Look at this. It's on Ada, navy blue. And then, look, I have two of them. It's just stitched in. It looks like Ecru. And I... I don't remember. I think I stitched this back when I lived in Alaska. So it would have been like 1985 or something. And I haven't framed them. I don't know what I was going to do with them. It's kind of cute. Kind of fun to look at. I wonder where I got the navy blue Ada. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Um, oh, okay. I have this one. I took this one down for summertime. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh, there you go. Okay, this one is Bent Creek Summer. Maybe I can hold it closer. Ooh, I love that crab. That crab makes me laugh. I have some crab um, pictures and things in my laundry room, which kind of makes me happy for some reason. Anyway, um, Bent Creek, it's a good one. I'm not thrilled with the way they framed it. I don't like all the extra fabric. I like the way people are doing them now on like long, long boards or long uh, shutters or something. So that's kind of neat. I have no idea what year I stitched this. No idea. Okay, let me set that aside. Okay, and I have this. I wanted to show you. This is my pin cushion. This is the pin cushion that sits right beside my sewing machine. I use it almost every day. It's a cross stitch piece on the front, 
just a piece of fabric on the back. It's filled with walnut, um, crushed walnut shells or, you know, that lizard um, stuff you can get at the pet store. And we visited Paris in 1994. So that's why I stitched the, the year on there. And usually, I mean, I, I move the pins over so that you can see the, the piece. But anyway, this is a free pattern. It is Blackbird Design. And if you go on their website, you can look up the Souvenir of France um, pin cushion. And, or, no, I don't think it's a pin cushion. I think it's just a small. I think it's just Blackbird Design. And you can go and then you can make one too. And then you just make yourself a, make yourself a pin cushion. I mean, I make all this stuff for everybody else, so it's really fun that I have one. Um, I got to got to remember our trip to Paris, so that was really nice. So anyway, it's really heavy, substantial. So yep, it sits right beside my sewing machine, and I like it. I really like it. All right, all right. That was my previous finishes. So let's talk about the whips that I have. Ooh, ooh. Okay, let's talk about my shawl. Well, not mine. I'm stitching it, but it's for my daughter-in-law. Okay, I'm one row away from being finished. So that's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. So yay, it's really, it's really lovely and big and, and the stitches are coming along so nice and I, I have one row left. I know if I made this video tomorrow, I would have had it done. But anyway, I'll, I'll show you when it's done. Okay, but I ordered this, um, I ordered this from Amazon. They're called blocking mats. Okay, and you get... A, you get a little box on the top, a tape measure, and these little T pins. And so, what you do when you're finished, um, I don't know, there's 10 or 9 or 10 in there, I think. Okay, so then you take them, and then you push them together. This is like, you can see, it's like foam. And it has um, grid lines on it. So you put it together, you just smush the the foam part together so that it makes it one piece then you make a piece big enough for your table oops i didn't put them together correctly <laughs> wait 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 okay 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 <laughs> i want to show you the wrong way wait here, here 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 okay there you go okay so i put them together and then you put together this whole mat and then you uh, block your pieces, your crochet or your knitting, and then you, you spritz them with water after they've been pinned, and then you leave them for two or three days so that um, they will flatten out really nicely, and you can see the lacy pattern, and so I'm just really excited. So, so the next video, I promise, I'll have it done, and I'll have it all blocked. It's pretty neat. I got them on Amazon. Um, makes me really happy. I, I'm hoping that, that it'll work, so... Anyway, that's my work in progress. One more row. I know, isn't that neat? Isn't that cool? <sighs> okay, there's one thing happened. I showed this, and this lady, so nice. Her name is uh, Lisa Loves Stitching, and she, um, she contacted me, and she sent me another shawl pattern. <laughs> isn't that the nicest thing? Okay, here's the thing with that. It's really lovely, very generous, but the part I love the most is that she really thinks I can do another shawl. Mm -hmm. I looked at the pattern and there's a few stitches that I don't really know, but I mean, I'm willing to learn. And, and so I'm going to go after I finish this one, then I'm going to go pick out some um, yarn. And then she was so nice. She said, Oh, it, she's, I think she's from Australia. Oh, that is so nice of her. Okay. So then she sent me um, a little note saying that once I got started and then she would crochet it at the same time. And then if I got in a little pickle or ooh, then she would help me. But isn't that, isn't that nice that she really thinks I could actually stitch another shawl. So thank you. I, I love that, that she kind of has that much confidence in me. So it made me smile. It made me so happy that somebody thought, oh, you can do it. No kidding. Ah, that's wonderful. I can't believe it. All right. Okay, my octopus garden. Here's the, it's what I'm working on. Blackbird design. It, there you go. Okay, now this is the one where I ran out of the color, uh, the, the main color that everything is outlined is called Tin Bucket. 
Oh, I didn't run out. I never found it. Every place was empty. Nobody had it. Uh, when I went to Acorns and Threads, nobody had it. Online, nobody had it. And I was a little flustered. I mean, I was, I was stitching around, but I was a little flustered. And I put a picture of progress picture on Instagram. And this lady wrote me and said, oh, I was just at a shop and I saw it there. Okay. It's called The Stitching Nook. Okay. Uh, I can't remember where they are. I want to say like Illinois or something. Okay. I don't remember. Anyway. Okay. So here they are. The Stitching Nook. That's their, um, they're on Facebook. That's their website. I, I sent my order in. I, just like three days later, I got the thread. I was so happy. It was excellent service. Well, thank you on my, on my bill. So it wasn't that nice. I, they, okay. Anyway. Yeah. Love them. Excellent, excellent customer service. I will definitely be ordering from them again. All right. So here's my progress on octopus garden. Okay. Wait, let me just get this straight and then I'll just hold it there for a second so you can see it. Yay! It's really, really a fun stitch. It has different colors than I normally would choose. I love the jellyfish. Gotta swish, jellyfish. I keep looking at the jellyfish so I don't sing this song over and over and over and over. I'm hoping that if I look at the jellyfish enough, I won't be singing the, the song. But anyway, I should have a finish pretty soon. Pretty soon. I really like it. It's just so different. I, oh, it's fun. It's fun. I am uh, itching to start a, a sampler, but this one was fun. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Okay. Ooh, I have a project I want to show you that I'm working on. All right. So these, um, these are the books, Woodland Babies, Christmas Tartlets, the Victorian Sampler. Okay. So this one has, a uh, a fox and a bear and a squirrel and this one has a raccoon and a chipmunk and a bunny all right so they show you how to finish these as christmas ornaments with a little tart tin and then those little red dots around the piece are little teeny mini red buttons so i have i, I haven't bought them yet I, f I found a place to buy them on etsy so okay and i did not buy the tins yet Okay, so when I'm making a project, I kind of start and I start collecting things. I collected these, these, um, okay, I guess I don't need to hold this up. I started collecting some ribbon. Um, I like the idea of maybe some felt behind them. I think maybe not a tin. Then I found these wooden, um, these little cut slabs. They already have a little hanger in them. And I thought, oh, if I put the, if I put this on here, I could buttonhole stitch it. I could, I could maybe put, you know, a, a ribbon on top. I could put some, some uh, rusty jingle bells. Okay, so I started collecting all these ideas, trying to figure out. Um, I wanted to make four of them for my grandbabies for Christmas. I try to make a Christmas ornament every year. So this was my idea first. So I think I got this from Michael's last year. And then I found this one this year, um, just in their woodworking section. There's no hole drilled through it, but you know, Mr. I could, you know what? I could drill a hole through that. Okay, so this was my original idea. And then I went to Hobby Lobby and I found, I found these, let's see, can you see them? They're like craft paper color. And so it has those little clips that you just, oops, you just uh, unscrew and then move them. Well, let's see, they're not, they're not that hard right now, but, and it has a little plastic thing in the front. Okay, so I remember I don't have, the, I didn't order the buttons yet, so I did not finish the buttons. So I have one of them started. Okay, so I finished the little raccoon minus the red buttons. And then I slipped it in this and I really liked it and I thought, the buttons wouldn't work so maybe I could do French knots and so then I started playing around with the ribbon and you know like this kind of a country more of a country look and then maybe some some rusty jingle bells on the top of it 
so anyway that's kind of what I'm doing I want to I have to make four of them I don't have to I want to um, so I want to make four of them and so I have one done it's kind of my prototype um, this one's for Hunter and uh, so I think by the next video I might have some more progress I'll, I'll have a couple more cross stitched but I kind of like the idea of this little thing that they can touch and they can hold and they won't break it I, I still like these I really like these cut pieces of wood I love the bark showing and all that so that might be for a different project I'm not I'm not throwing that whole idea out I really I really like that but when I saw these yesterday it was just so quick and easy. Uh, I think there were six in a bag for, I think, like $5.99 and then use your 40% coupon. So it wasn't outrageous. So it was like a dollar a piece, I think, if, if you didn't have a coupon. But anyway, it's, it's kind of like really hard cardboard with the plastic. And I thought it might be perfect for grandkids' ornaments. And, um, yeah, I like to, I like to get them done. Um, I prefer to get them done early so that they can be mailed in November so that they can have them whenever they, um, get, get their tree. They'll have their ornaments ready to go. Um, I thought with the cardboard back, I could, I could maybe stitch their name or my, or I could write my name or I, I don't know. I think I might just do a little, a little tag that has their name cross stitched on it in the year. So anyway, it's just, it's just something that I'm working on. And so these are the two, these are, okay. I ripped this chart when I was open. I was a little excited that the envelope came and I eh, accidentally ripped it. Anyway. Okay. So I love the idea of the tart pans. I really do. I, I think it's charming and adorable. But when I saw these yesterday, I kind of fell in love with how easy that was. And I think I'm going to do the French knots. So okay stay tuned we'll we'll uh we'll see how that all comes out of the wash i i think i think you're gonna like it i'm gonna love it i think i already kind of love it i just i gotta kind of tweak it and polish the apple a little bit so anyway that's what i'm working on that's what i'm working on so oh i have a couple of floss tube girls i wanted to talk about uh first one her name is jennifer and um, her floss tube channel is Stitching with the Waves. And she's a new floss tube person. So I thought that you might want to meet her and, you know, go over and see what she's doing. Okay. So she has a couple kids. Um, she's a real smarty pants. Um, I think she substitute teaches. I think she's the one that does. Um, okay. Get this. Okay. So she, she stitches beautifully. And then she showed this little piece. It was 40 count on silk gauze. Okay. Her stitches are gorgeous. And then she was showing this little piece and it was very, very small. She stitches little pieces to put in a miniature dollhouse. It, it just kind of blows your mind. It, it's so beautiful. She's making a little roll pillow for a little bed in the little dollhouse and it's all stitched on 40 count gauze. Yeah really okay that was jennifer <laughs> stitching with the waves she's got a great smile and she's got lots of i think she's doing lots of christmas ornaments right now for christmas in july so there's lots to look at and she's really interesting to listen to so if you get a chance pour your iced tea and uh go uh give jennifer a listen you will like that the other gal her name is carrie and is simply and blessed stitches Oh, she's really nice. She has some kiddos and I am, she is calm and collected and speaks really kindly. And she has some beautiful stitches. Ooh, ooh, she's the one that has this, um, Canadian sampler or Canadian, oh, Canadian piece. Beautiful, beautiful. You got to go look. She did a great job. Anyway, she's really kind and collected and she's just a sweet, sweet, nice gal. Ugh, I gotta channel some of her calmness. That's that's my that's my goal. That's my goal when I listen to her. You really like her. She's she's really nice. So, go give her a visit and a howdy do. Okay. Oh, I have a couple subscribers um, that I wanted to tell you about. Beth Pierce. Um, she's really nice. She leaves flattering comments. She's kind. She's considerate. Always has nice things to say. Oh, I smile when I see her name because I know something good is, is I'm going to, I'm going to read something good in just a minute. So anyway, she's really nice. Um, thanks Beth. I appreciate the kind words. 
Um, the other gal today, her name is Willa, uh, Brownie's gal. She's kind and thoughtful, and she leaves heartfelt comments, and um, really sweet and friendly, and somebody you want to talk to, and somebody you want to, you know, like cross your legs and grab your cup of coffee, and, and hold, you know what, hold your mug with two hands. No cell phone in your hand, no thinking of something else. Your two hands can only hold that mug of coffee or hot tea, and you can't hold a cell phone. You can only hold that because you just want to sit and visit with her and chat and talk. Yeah, a two-handed mug kind of friend. That's what she seems like. So anyway, thanks, Willa. Thanks for stopping by. I sincerely appreciate your nice words. So thank you so much. Thanks so much. Ooh, I got a gift. I got a gift in the, um, she brought it to me. So look what this is. This is hand turned. Can you see that? And it is a seam ripper. Ooh, you can see it. I'll, put, I'll hold it right there on my shirt. And it's two ended, two seam rippers. In case I need to go crazy, I guess. No, no, no. Anyway, it's a beautiful, piece of art. Okay, so it came from my friend Lori, and we've been friends since I think she was 11 and I was 12. And um, we've been friends ever since. And she came over, um, I um, offered to do a little bit of alterations on the mother of the bride dress for her. So her dress is stunning. Oh, she looks fabulous in it teals and aquas and grays and oh it's just embroidered and gorgeous so anyway I'm going to shorten it a little bit so her snazzy shoes will show off a little better and she said that she saw this artist and she thought of me and here's the thing she doesn't sew she doesn't quilt she doesn't stitch she doesn't cross stitch she's she's a beautiful artist she's a wonderful watercolor painter calligrapher oh she is talented but she doesn't do any sewing and so for her to pick this out for me wasn't that thoughtful that was really really generous and really thoughtful really thoughtful gosh her little girl Sarah she's getting married I can't believe it our, our girl Sarah I mean excuse me Dr. Sarah. Um, she is a emergency room doctor and we've been with her the whole way sending Nutella and those packages, those college care packages. That girl's been in college for a long time. She is marrying a doctor and I think everybody except one person in the wedding party are doctors. So that's the wedding to be at at the end of August. If, if, you, if you don't feel so well and you want to go to a wedding, you're covered. And uh, I, I mean, I can't believe it, my friend. We've been friends for so long, and Mr. Wright's gonna marry um, Sarah and and Chris, and we're all gonna be there to celebrate and lift them up. And anyway, it was really neat. So, yep, I'm in the middle of altering the mother of the bride dress, and I can't believe I got this really nice present. So, thanks for listening to indulging me while I had a little uh, little excitement there about the wedding. Okay. Ooh, I have some things to be grateful for. Okay. First up, granddaughter number one, um, she got glasses and they're real cute. They're, um, they're teal color and, and she was so excited to see the fireworks. She could see everything long distance and, um, she was just so excited, but they were keeping it secret. She was keeping it secret from her dad so that she could show him the glasses that she picked. Well, unbeknownst to her, he figured it out and went and talked to mom and the eye doctor, and he got a pair of glasses pretty close to the same color. And then when she went to go try on her glasses, he showed up in a pink plaid shirt with those glasses, and he's a big guy. He's six foot three, and he's big, and has a big beard, and uh, he was rocking the plaid shirt, and he asked his daughter if she'd like to go to lunch with the cool kids, and she was just beaming, and I got a picture of them at the restaurant. She has a pink stripy shirt and her new aqua glasses, and, um, and our son, he showed up, and he's there in his pink plaid shirt and his aqua teal glasses, 
and uh, it's, I, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that our son is that good of a dad that uh, he started her off on the right foot. The cool kids have the glasses on, so that was pretty exciting. That was a, that's a great thing to be grateful for. I'm super grateful. Okay, we already talked about it. I'm grateful for blueberries and my friend who uh, helped me pick them. That was great. My blueberry bushes are doing so well this year. I think I've gotten, I have four blueberry bushes and I think I've gotten four quarts this year so far uh, in the freezer. Okay, we're not going to talk about my green beans. <laughs> I've had like two servings and Mr. Wright's had two servings. It, they're not doing well. It, it might be time to call it, rip them out and get something else fun in there. So yeah, anyway. Um, okay, I have two things left. One is this. Okay, this is, people ask me about my mascara. Okay, I don't wear this every day, and it's only for special occasions. It's like, um, it's like date night, or, or when you do a floss tube video. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, if you go on uh, ewg.org, I, I don't know if you've uh, ever gone there, it's um, in, in the Environmental Working Group. So you can type in whatever cosmetic you have, and then it'll give you a rating of zero to five of how bad that is for you. I mean, because I'm really trying, uh, my life is trying not to do chemicals, trying not to do things that'll harm me. And um, this particular one is a treat. This one is a number three out of five. So it's not, it's not the healthiest thing for you by any means. But once in a while, it's kind of fun. Um, it has a primer, so it's made out of beeswax. So you put this primer on first, one end of the tube, and it's kind of a white color. And then the other end of the tube is the the uh, the black, and um, it just makes your lashes look bigger and you feel fancier. And yeah, it's good for date night, definitely, definitely date night, or if you do a floss tube video. So anyway, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll um, link that below if you don't know about it. It's a wonderful site. It's free. Um, they rate everything you can imagine in cosmetics. And so it's really lovely that you can go through your cosmetic bag and figure out which things you should trash and which things you should feel really good about. So anyway, we're all trying to get to that point of not putting so many chemicals into our bodies. So anyway, uh, I have one more thing. Okay, this candle. I know it. it's like it's it's going. I bought one of those candles that has the, the wick that flickers and um, I think they invented these for movie sets so that they could have tapered candles and look like they were glowing and um, it the, the camera could still pick it up. And, and uh, anyway, Mr. Wright loves them because whenever I have a dinner party, I have to write down how many candles I've lit so that when they leave, I make sure and go around and put those candles out. So we don't get into trouble. And uh, when I say that I'm praying for somebody and lighting my prayer candle, this is the kind of prayer candle that I light so that I don't forget uh, a burning candle. So it's really safe, two batteries. Um, there's a remote control if you want to put it up high in a in a display or something. So it's really great. It's it, it's, a, it's a good one, you, you know. So um, they're a little bit spendy, so you got to save up just a little bit, but uh, totally worth it. And it's real wax, so you got to be careful that you don't ding it or, you know, get it get it near something or mark it up. But it yeah, this is just a small one, but they come, they have those little tea lights, they have tapers, they have much taller ones. I put a couple in my lanterns. Uh, I have a couple outside on the deck for evening time. And um, so anyway, yeah, it's, oh, I highly recommend, highly recommend. Uh, I think they have them at Bed Bath & Beyond. They have them at Hobby Lobby. Uh, right now, Hobby Lobby has a 50% off. Um, so anyway, pretty neat. Um, I like it. Makes me smile. Makes me happy. And I think that's all I got for today. I didn't do much stitching. I was on vacation and I kind of just relaxed and didn't do anything and that's okay. Do you want to know that I'm going to go on vacation again? <laughs> I know. I get to go see the Spruce Goose. I know. Look it up. You're going to be surprised. I'm going to be so happy. But I get to go back to the beach, put my feet in the sand. It'll be good. It'll be good. I hope you're all having a really good summer. I hope you're finding lots of stitchy time. Sit out on the porch in the morning and drink your coffee and, and do a little stitching just for you. Make yourself feel happy. So... Anyway, 
Thanks a lot for stopping by. I sure do appreciate it. I love all the comments. I love getting to know you and making friends. That's what this was about for me, was making friends. And um, the, the girl that I picked blueberries with this morning, I would have never, ever met her had it not been for floss tube. So I am grateful. So thanks so much. Please come back again next time. I, I Oh, and I hope to have that shawl finished. I, and and my at least one of the uh, Christmas ornaments. So anyway, thanks a lot. Happy stitching. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.